On this episode of our hardcore randomized Nuzlocke of Radical Red 4.1, we prepare to welcome several new teammates onto the squad and then get ready to take on my arch nemeses, the Sailors. Having taken an Urshifu from us in the past, we're on a quest of revenge. Can we defeat the SSN Gauntlet Deathless or will these pirates take even more from us? Find out right now. New episodes every single day. Also, my voice is gone. Well, well, well. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, I'm stuck on something. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Hello, hello, my brothers, sisters, and everything else in between. We're back. Some more Radical Red. I got myself a coffee from my mug. A little cow directly from Switzerland. So, cheers. We're back for some more Radical Red. Now, I got the same clothes on as the last episode, and that's because... Oh, it's because my controller doesn't work. Well, it's because I'm recording double. But I will see you guys in just a second. Alright, we're back. Uh, I'm recording a double, alright? Still Friday for me. And, uh, still have the day off from works. And I got nothing else to do. Besides grinding some good old Radical Red. Now, you're gonna see that the screen is dark. But now it's back, and we back. We here. Team looking as juicy as ever. Uh, last episode, we got some crazy encounters, right? If I can just swing back to memory lane for you guys. It's only been a day for you. It's only been like two hours for me. Dragapult. And where is he? Urshifu. Kid Piggy. Kid Piggy, speed boost Urshifu on the team. Uh, do I have to say any more? I really don't, and I don't think I should. Kid Piggy Urshifu. Now, I'm sidelining you for now. Uh, because I'm afraid that you're going to perish and I can't do that. I can't have that. I can't have that on my conscious for a second time For more context, I guess spoilers as well uh, We had an Urshifu in the last series that we did that we lost to Giovanni uh, And not only did we get an Urshifu, we got an Urshifu in the literal exact same spot The exact same spot Exact same route exact same situation. It was it's 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 insane so I can't, and I lost him pretty soon after. Almost like, I think it's an episode. So I can't have that happen again. I cannot have it happen again. So what we're going to do here is that we're going to make it to our good old friend in Vermilion. And now I'm going to be smart about it. And before I even get an encounter on this route, which we will do in just a second, uh, I'm going to buy some great balls because at the end of the day... No, 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 I can't do it, man. Don't make me do it. Don't make... Psych. Psych. See ya, buddy. That's very funny timing, but... Bye-bye! <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm still, uh, feeling not the greatest. I still got that, that sore throat, you know what I'm saying? So, but I'm, I'm sipping coffee. I don't know if that's good or bad thing, but... I don't care. Listen, I love me some coffee. Alright, I love me some coffee. And if you're not coffee drinkers out there, I can understand why. Listen, this is my afternoon coffee. I already had my morning coffee before the first episode that you guys saw yesterday. And now I'm having my afternoon coffee. I have like two cups a day. Is it a problem? Maybe. Do I care? Not in the slightest. You got a problem with it? Fight me. Oh, you shouldn't be drinking that much coffee. It's bad for you. All right. What are you, my mom? It's messed up. I don't want to hear this. I don't want to hear this from you. All right. What I decide to drink is what I decide on my own. And I'm a coffee guy, so I'm going to drink coffee. We're Costco guy. No, just kidding. All right. Random encounter time. We're looking for something juicy, maybe of the ground or the fire variety. So without any more scallywagging around. Oh, I think I said Blaziken in the last episode as well. Oh, baby. Blaziken, a mega Pokemon, a starter as well. Uh, and overall, a very delicious, a very delicious, an amazing mod to get. Fire fighting, uh, fighting type is something that we were kind of missing, although we did just get Urshifu in the last episode. It's, it's, it's a type that I will graciously accept if you would like to be on the team. He is incinerating though. I am using a berry juice. Let's put him to sleep. Let's go ahead. Okay. Alright, I can't lose the homie like that. So, what do we got? What do we got to hit you? Icy Wind? That'll do. 
Uh, resisted Icy Wind. Oh no, Sand Spit. Honestly, I feel like we can probably just catch him. So let's just throw a few more Ultra Balls at him. And just hopefully he'll want to stay in the ball. Hopefully. Hopefully he will want to stay in the ball. Because I would love to have a Blaziken on the team. Listen, no Fire type yet. You would be the first. So if you want to just... If you want to please stay in the ball. Alright. Please stay in the ball. What are we doing here, man? What are we doing here? Um, let's just chuck a few more. Just chuck a few more. Let's just chuck a few more. Okay, I don't want to pop my citrus, though. So I will switch into, I guess, Marius. It's probably the best play. Wait, is he actually burning up my citrus berries for real, though? Because I would be really annoyed if he did do that. All right, Blaziken on the team for the one time. Now, if you want to be a Blaziken, let me know in chat. Put it down in the comments, not chat. This is not a live. But for now, we're going to name you uh, Lithium. Why? I don't know. It's the first thing that came to my head. Lithium the Blaziken. Now, did it actually eat my berries? It did. Can't catch a break, man. Can't catch a break with these citrus berries. Analytic. It'll be better. Now we do have the ability pills, so we can actually get some uh, some new abilities on our teammates here, which I might actually check out this episode. But uh, because we're doing statics as well, what I like to do and what I found is like the best the best play overall is that we're gonna grab this egg right here. And we're going to go hatch it in the underground tunnel. Because that does count as a brand new encounter. And then what it will do is that we'll fish. And then get the fossil static from here. And that will count as our static for the good old vermilion. Oh, okay. Ooh, Delphox is here too. Wow. So we would have gotten a fire type regardless. But that's that's interesting. Um, Yeah, so we're going to get the static. And then we're going to get a few more encounters. And it's obviously going to be a good time. Now, looking at typings, what do we want? Uh, we don't have a psychic type. We don't have a dark type either. Uh, not a just not a ghost type, please. Just not a ghost type. Just don't don't let it be a ghost type, please. I have enough ghost types to last an entire generation. All right, my kids, kids, kids will have a ghost type. All right. So I don't think we need any more of those. It's a long egg though. Let's count it down. Boom, 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 boom. Venusaur. Poison Steel. This is one of the new Sevi types that Radical Red has added in the game. Uh, I will take it. I will take it. Norma. Norma is on the team. A Poison Steel type. Four times weak to ground, but still pretty cool with Poison Touch. Ooh. You know, this is actually, this was supposed to be a Simi Sage. That's funny. I know that by the moveset because that's what our Simi Sage has. Uh, poison Steel. Did we have a Steel type before this? We did not. And also, we didn't have a Poison type. So, uh, I will take that. Gladly, I will take that. So, that is a very cool encounter to get. An interesting Mon, too. I never really used that guy. Is he any good? What are his stats like? I actually forget. I feel like he's a strong physical attacker, though. 100 base physical attack. Not bad. Very slow, but pretty bulky in defense and special defense. Only 454 BST. But it's a cool typing. I'll take it. I will take it. Now, let us actually... Let's let's get the fossil first. Why not, right? So we're going to give the good old scientist the Helix Fossil. Lord Helix, please bless us on this day if you are up there and you are listening. Bless us with something insane. Dialga, Palkia, a legendary. Give me a legendary. Boom! A family of mice. I'm going to butcher this name, but I'm calling you Ratatouille. Ratatouille. I don't even know if that's how you spell it. But I don't have any more spaces, so Ratatouille is here. Uh, with telepathy. Interesting. I would love, like, skill link on you. Um, It's a mouse. It's a mouse. All right, that's all. That's all I can really say. It is a mouse. It is indeed a mouse. All right, let's go ahead and put the butterfly back on our team. And let's get some more encounters. Listen, this is my favorite part of Radical Red. is just seeing what we're working with. Right? Seeing the mons that we are dealing with. And I want to see. 
I, I want to see what we're working with. I want to see what we're dealing with. So let's get something juicy. Let's get a juicy mon right here. What the? All right, Plusle. That's not juicy. That is the opposite of juicy. That is very lukewarm, I would actually add. It's raw. It's raw. All right. Not in like a, damn, that dude's raw as hell. Like, okay, whatever. It's going to sound weird anyway to say it. It's just not a good encounter. It's just not a good encounter. Uh, Plusle with Limber. That's funny. Um. All right. Starting off with some mid. We have like all the mid electric types. Now, Pikachu isn't bad, but I can't evolve this into a Raichu. Because it is one of the cool... Cool Pikachus, but Plusle and Amolga. Let's get like a good uh, electric type, like maybe like a Zero Aura or a Zapdos. Actually, I don't think we can catch a Zapdos, so. All right, SSN encounter. Let's see it. Show me something that's actually good, please. No, there's no way. There's just no way. There's no way we get all of the worst electric types in the game. What am I looking at? What am I looking at? I, like, I think we just caught every single one of the worst electric types in the game. That is so crazy. Emolga, Pikachu I can't evolve, plus, <laughs> and now a stupid Pachirisu with no guard. <laughs> oh, people, it's not looking too good for us. It is not looking too hot. Last encounter before we got to start taking on the SSN and such. Can you make it a banger? Show me a banger. All right. Show me a banger. Oh my God. It's electric type city, but I'll take that. Drake Azult. Ooh. Ooh. I don't mind that. That's literally three electric types back to back to back, but. I'll take that. I'll take that. Well, who's the rapper that goes by Draco? It's not Drake, it's, uh, Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy, I tell him. I don't know how he spells it. Soldier? Uh, yeah, so, Soldier, Soldier Boy. I'll take it. Uh, a, a good Electrotype to, to cover up all the other bad Electrotypes. Another Dragon Type, but I will take that. Have, like, huge power. Something crazy like that. Mummy. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. What do your stats look like? 100 base attack, 90 base defense. Alright, not bad. You do get Bolt Beak though, which is quite a good electric type move. So, you know what? I want to check some abilities. So, we're going to do that. We're going to quickly just go through the... Alright, bro. Okay. What are we doing? What are we doing, team? What are we doing? Gener like, seriously. What are we doing? Trizzy, get out of here. Come on, I only have 30 minutes an episode. All right. Get him gone. Oh my lord. Um. I don't like that. That scares me a lot. Um. Let's go into Patricia, I guess. Slash, I'm immune. Come on, man. Come on, man. We ain't gotta do all this, man. Just don't have counter. Toxic debris. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. Let's, let's do this quick. Alright, let's quickly level up our boy here, because I do want to bring an electric type to this, so I'm happy we did get an actual usable electric type. Do you get the, the beak of bolting right now? Do you get the bolt that beaks, or is it a relearn move? Could be a relearn move. No, that's kind of brutal. Alright, uh, Mummy, Justify, Delta Stream, Sand Spit, Reckless, Oracle Compose. Let's see if they get any other abilities. Because we do have the handy dandy ability pill. Super luck, I will take. Won't have any effect. Won't have any effect. Leaf Guard? I'll take that, actually. Mega Launcher. Aura and Pulse moves. That's interesting. And won't have any effect. Let's see if you have another ability, though. Uh, listen. These are things we gotta do. Alright? These are things that we have to take the time to do. Or else it would just be stupid if we didn't do it. Right? It would just be dumb if we decided to not do these kind of things. So let's just check everyone who I think will be usable. And just to see if they get any crazy abilities, right? It's it's good to know. Like if we got a huge power Beedrill or a huge power Norma. And I just left it, you know, unbeknownst to me. I would be angry. I would be very angry. So let's check it. 
Uh, actually, let's check what you guys have first. Poison Touch, Parasitic Waste, Speed Boost, Oracle Compulse, Analytic, Magic Guard, and that is it. So let's see. Ability Pill, won't have any effect, won't have any effect, won't have any effect, won't have any effect, won't have any effect. And Inner Focus. Now, what was your original ability? Magic Guard. Inner Focus, I can't flinch. I'm immune to... How does Magic Guard work? Only damage by attacks. Interesting. Um, Inner Focus, can't flinch. And immune to... Uh, I think I'm immune to... What's it called? Intimidate? Let's see. Prevents flinching and intimidate. Um, I mean, it's not bad. I think I'll take it over Magic Guard for right now. I think I will take it over Magic Guard. Okay, but speaking of that, I gotta pee really bad, so I will be right back. And we back. Alright, sorry about that, team. Alright, so we have the SS Santa take on right now. And I'm trying to think what is gonna be the best team for this. And I'm honestly a little unsure. Now, I, I want to say that Blaziken should be coming to this fight. I also want to level up Dragapult and see what he's got, right? See what moves he's rocking with. Because uh, right now, Giratina doesn't really have the best moves. And it's like, should I be using him? If he doesn't even have a... I mean, he's got Stab, Shadow, Sneak. But that's as far as his ghost moves go. So, we'll see what Golden Pig has. Good old Golden Piggy. Right now, has Assurance, Infestation, has the moves. It's got Dragon Dark. And I will gladly take that. So we have Dragon Darts. We have Sucker Punch as well. Which is a very good move. Um, and maybe some other physical moves we can put on you. Maybe a, a Rock Tomb or something. You get Rock Tomb though. Uh, I like that on you. Protect, I will take. Peck, peck no thank you. Uh, let's go ahead and level up Blaziken too. Because he is a Pokemon I will uh, be interested in using. We do get Fire Punch as well. You naturally learn Thunder Punch. That's interesting. Uh, do you get Fire Punch? Bulk Up Natural as well. Something to remember though. No, but you get Blaze Kick. Even better. Even better. And then let's go ahead and give you... Uh, probably Brick Break when we get to it. So that is fine. Uh, Lithium and Golden Piggy I'll probably end up using right now. That is probably going to be on the team. Now, I'm looking at this team, and I'm thinking we need an electric type, which might be you. I like you for this. Uh, fire type, poison type would be really cool. Uh, steel type as well wouldn't be too bad. And then, who am I not bringing here that I feel like I should be bringing? Maybe Runarigus? Yeah, I'd say it's not bad. Um, I think that's the team I want to rock out with, is bringing this man kind of a mistake. A good old Norma? I don't know. A very basic women name on the team, Patricia and Norma. <laughs> I think it's funny, though. I think it's kind of funny. Uh, it's another Steel type, Miss Norma. I actually don't think we need Norma. I think, uh, I, I think I actually need a Water type for this, uh, this semi-seer. Does have Grass Knot, though. Alright, it's time, Kid Piggy. I'm very scared, but I think it's time. We're taking Kid Piggy off the bench. Uh, I mean, we did only get you last episode, but you are pulling up to the to the team. And uh, I know our good friend Keppa the Cat. No, Keppa's on the team, though. I was going to say, Keppa would be mad that I'm not using them. But you are on the team, Keppa. So you have no complaints. Alright, I don't, I don't want to hear anything from you. I want to hear nothing. Let's go ahead and make you adamant. Uh, I think our lead is just going to be... Um, I'm a little scared of you, I think. Leading with Soldier Boy? No, you know what? Leading with Keppa, Keppa is probably our best play here. Um, I'm also going to take all the Citrus Berries off of our enemies. Our enemies? Our friends. These, are, these aren't our enemies, these are our friends. Dude, I'm already... 19 minutes into the episode man time flies when you're having fun doesn't it team doesn't it <laughs> um actually gonna give you the charcoal because i want your fire moves to hit like a truck all right because we need a truck to be able to win this game Peppa, you're good with the citrus berry golden piggy uh, i'm gonna make you adamant i 
am gonna make you adamant and maybe like the muscle band will be pretty good on you nah you know what i don't want you to die so citrus berry it is but uh, uh, bluebird the best offense is good defense yeah yeah i know still <laughs> still um let's go ahead and just make you adamant i wish you had another water move that was physical but Right now, Aqua Jet is just going to be the best option until we get Liquidation on you, which will happen. Alright, he's not dying before that. Soldier Boy, I guess you don't really have any good electric type move, eh? Can you learn Thunder Punch? I mean, your arms are very nubby, but maybe you can learn Thunder Punch. He can! That's cute. Uh, Golden Pinky can also learn it, and I think over Brick Break is probably good here. I like having Detect if needed. Um, let's get it over Thunder Punch. Anything else that the people want? Aerial Ace, maybe. Ooh, Bulldoze on Patricia. It's about time you get a stab ground move on you. I'll take it over Charge. Uh, Vacuum Wave, no thank you. Anything else we want? Icy Wind, Bolt Seed, Flip Turn, no. So I think this will be the team. I honestly am just going to give you the Citrus Berry as well. And I say we're good to go. Let's go ahead and beat up the SSN. Now, I don't know if we could do this in 10 minutes, but I'm going to try my absolute best. But at the same time, I don't want to rush. All right, I don't want to rush. So if I can't finish it this episode, you're going to have to deal with it. Uh, I also want to change the layout. Because I feel like I should. Uh, you're on the team. You're on the team. Did I bring a water type to this? Wait. Oh, no, it is Golden Piggy. I lied. Uh, so you are going to be Urshifu, let's do this quick, Rapid Strike, Articuno is not on the team, we have Draco, Draco's ult, no Giratina, we have, uh, honestly the upgrade for now, although Dragapult was, um, Giratina was a very tanky boy for us. And who else on the team? Blaziken. My boy Blaze Blaze. Shout out Gen 3. Blaz? Yeah. Okay. Blaziken. Mr. Ken himself. Alright, that's the team. Pretty well rounded. I like it. I like it. So, just going for a Shockwave is probably going to be a pretty decent play. And I am going to put Brick Break on you because you like to break some bricks. And I feel like you deserve to break some bricks, you know? Uh, are we Brick Breaking? What are we saying? Brick Break, Brick Break, come on. Where it at, though? There it is. So a Brick Break over Quick Attack, I would say. Good to have, but I don't think I really need the priority here. Alright, let's not lose them on. Let's do it. Let me pull out the docks to make sure I don't. And I'm putting my whole brain into this one. Alright, I'm putting my entire brain into it. Alright, I will not lose them on here. Duot and Dark Tricks come out. Now, I feel pretty decent about the fact that a... You know what? I want to double into this guy. He's pretty scary. Air Slash will hurt. But this Duot is even scarier. So, I'm going to go... Shockwave Thunder Punch. It's not Stab, but I want to say it's going to do a decent amount. Does go for the Water Pledge and the Grass Pledge. The two moves combine. Ow! That really hurt. And we are going to go for that good old Thundershock, and that is enough to take the Duot out. One of the main threats, I would say. Um, I'm feeling like a Flying-type move is going to be coming out on me. I think Middle Ground, we shifted Pat into Patricia. And... It's a little scary. And we double... A fire move. Patricia and Soldier Boy come out. Like, I'm, I'm so confident that Lithium is going to get targeted here by at least the Duat. So, Lithium, he's going to take an Air Slash. I think Patricia is the best person to take an Air Slash. And we want to set ourselves up to be able to take this Semi Sage out, which is going to be a fire type move on Keppa. So, going into Piggy the Kid. Dude, I'm so scared to bring in Piggy here. I am creating the sun, though. Ooh, that is not good that I'm just creating the sun. Oh, boy. Sunlight is strong. Yikes, that might have been a mistake. That might have genuinely been a mistake. Um, I'm gonna go for the... Mm, 
I could go bulldoze and then hit detect on Kid Piggy. I like that. Let's do it. See how that works out. Fire Pledge on Runarigus again. 1 HP, no way. Oh my god, man. Oh my god, are you serious? They double into me. They genuinely double into me. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. <laughs> well, there's the first loss, team. That is it right there. The first loss. And I'm gonna go... I'm actually scared now. Aquagen to Sivisir does literally nothing. Hidden power into Golden Piggy. Soldier Boy. Oh boy, man. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's not looking too good for me. Genuinely, I'm actually scared. Uh, I'm gonna double into you, and I think switch out into Golden Pig. Are you serious, man? These fights aren't supposed to be difficult, but I'm just making them difficult on my own. Doubles into Golden Piggy, of course. Now, does Thunder Punch from Soldier Boy take you out? It does not. Of course it doesn't. Alright, let's go ahead and speed this up a little bit. I am very afraid for my life, but I think Thunder Punch into a Dragon Darts is going to do a lot of damage. Oh my god, it's just a dual hit move? How do I not know these things, man? <laughs> I had no idea that was a dual hit move. Now I've got two dragons on the field, and I'm going to want to switch them out. Simi Sage. It is a two on one, though. So I think no matter what, I go into Keppa, and oh boy, I go into Keppa and I Dragon Darts you. Thank God, man. Thank God. I knew I was faster, but all right. And then I'm going to Flash Cannon into you, and I'm going to switch out into off a Draining Kiss is not my favorite thing to do, but I will survive that for sure. There's no way I lost Runarigus, man. That's so bait. And my coffee's getting cold, man. Ugh. What a loss, man. What an absolute terrible loss. Dude, these fights are, like, way scarier than I remember them being. Alright, well, rest in peace, Patricia. Uh, I miss her already. Truly, I do. Truly, I miss her already. Alright, well, gotta move on with my life. Cramorant is here. Cramorant and Lilip. The... The duo. The duo that I really, 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 really hate. Now, I do want to lead with Keppa here. I don't even want to bring Golden Piggy to this fight, if I'm being honest. And I'm not going to. I'm really not going to. Uh, leading with Keppa seems to be a pretty decent play. I think Simi Sage isn't going to be bad here, although there is going to be a lot of Ice Beams to go around. Yeah, but with the, with the fire... I do like that. I'm I'm weakening the water type moves, right? So I do like that. I think Dragapult for, should for sure come to this fight. Um, who else do I want to come to this fight? Uh, Articuno doesn't really do much. Whaler doesn't really do much either. I think Shaman should come to this fight, right? Base 100, kind of a tanky monster. And Giratina for the bulk? I mean, I got a lot of stuff I'm weak to. What am I thinking here? What am I thinking here? I'm thinking... Because this guy's kind of an issue, right? Honestly, this little leap is really, really an issue. But I can't bring... I can't bring Golden Piggy. I can't bring Piggy's kid here. It's just not going to work out that way. Steel? I think you're actually... You're not bad here, right? You're actually not bad here. Now, there is always the... The strat... Of just leaving... The, um, I think I might do that. Leaving the Cramorant on the field. Does it feel like the worst idea? Uh, we've got Seed Bomb on this thing too. Cross Poison instead of Lick. Uh, do you learn anything else? No. Move Relearn, Bind Growth, Faint Attack. All right, nothing really good. But if I double into you, Metal Claw. If I go Metal Claw into the other, yeah. I think, I think that's my lead. I think I want to get rid of this Leap ASAP. Just so it doesn't have a chance to really do anything bad to me. 
and then kind of just leave the Cramorant on the field when I have two Steel types seems like a pretty good idea. In my head, at least. You know, some some of you might say, no, nah, it's a stupid idea. You're, you're being an idiot. And I'll be very sad that you say that, but you wouldn't be wrong. I, I, I can take it. I can definitely take it. Um, I'll give you the Citrus Berry as well. Dude, that Patricia loss is kind of weighing on me, though. It is weighing on me just a little bit. One of our carry Pokemons this throughout this entire run with the Aura Calcum Pulse would have been really cool. Would have been really cool if I was able to keep it alive, but me and this boat just have bad blood. We really just have bad blood. And I think what I'm going to want to do is actually just go double air balloon. Right? Because I don't want this thing really... Although... I have 40. I'm going to outspeed it. I want to say a Metal Claw and a Flash Cannon should pretty much do the work, no? That's what I want to say. A Metal Claw plus a Flash Cannon should pretty much do the work. Uh, I like having Soldier Boy on this. I like having you on the team as well. I'll put a Citrus Berry on you. And then Golden Piggy is here just to clean up if I need to. Now, I don't have any real answer for this Nidoqueen. Which kind of scares me just a little bit. I have no real Ice type. I mean, you're actually really good for him. Surf. It's not bad. What do I take you over, though? For one of these two? I like having both of them on the team, though. Uh, over Drakazolt? I don't mind that over Drakazolt. I think just having the Ice type. He can hit me with Scorching Sands. Um, I'm gonna do a lot with good old Delta Stream. Right? Icy Wind. For this Nidoqueen. I like it. I like it. It's not a bad play. I hope, at least. <laughs> I can be hindsighting this in about 30 seconds, but we'll see. Now, I feel confident that that's going to do what I needed to do. So I'm just not even going to think about it, and I'm going to run it. All right, because all of Cramorant's moves do jack diddly squash to me. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Um, Honestly, I'm giving you the wise glasses. I'm giving you the wise glasses. I hate this bridge, man. Especially when I'm not calcing. Like, I could take the time to just calc right now, but... It's just a bridge, right? It's just it's just a boat, right? It's just a boat. Now, we are over time, but we're going to make do. All right, we are going to make do. Now, here's what I'm thinking here, right? Metal Claw. Flash Cannon. Surf comes out. It's going to do not much to me. Gulp Missile does do its work. Storm Drains. Interesting. Um, we are going to Flash Cannon on the leap. Takes him down to 1 HP, and a Metal Claw is going to take him out of the game. Which is exactly what I wanted. Now, this thing is Gulp Missile, which scares me just a little bit, but if I don't touch it... No, I do want to touch it. Because these other two mods can't really do much to me, right? So we're going to go Shockwave. Uh, I get my berry up. Keppa isn't going to get it. Storm Drain, boost the special attack. I hate my life, man. <laughs> Absolutely, I hate everything. I actually hate everything. <laughs> God. It's so dumb. It's actually so dumb. I I've never seen him do that. Is that like a new thing they added? Because I have genuinely never seen him do that. Genuinely, I've never seen him do that. Seed Bomb comes out, Tattoo Geary, Air Slash. Oh, and I'm, I just lost Nico as well. Because he has special attack boost, right? Oh, he doesn't. He Dragapulses into Norma. Very strange. All right, Nidoqueen comes out. Now, I am definitely in trouble. And I have to hope that he's going to go... I just got to hope that this works out. And I got a Seed Bomb. The Tattoo Geary. I'm hoping he goes for a ground move on Norma. And Tatsugiri is obviously going to go for me, but I am faster. So I take him out and I get a free switch in. Just work out. Just work out. Just work out for me, please. Seed Bomb. 
Tatsugiri does get taken out. Scorching Sands into Toad. Woo! Just as I envisioned it. Just as I saw the play out. Alright, we're gonna go Icy Wind. And I'm gonna go right into Arch, I think. Is gonna be my play here. So let's see. Icy Wind, it is hit hitting two. Needle Queen goes down to half. Ice Beam into Shaman. Doesn't take me out though. And a Sludge into Ice Toad. So that is a pretty good play for us. We're going to Icy Wind again. And I'm going to go for a Magical Leaf. Takes Luminion out the game. And I want to say an Icy Wind will do it as well. Why does the boat do this to me, man? Why does the boat do this to me? <laughs> Uh, oh, Keppa, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're gonna be so mad at me. I'm sorry. <sighs> the boat strikes again, man. The boat strikes again. Keppa, we lost two extremely consistent and extremely incredible mons, man. Oh, why does this series do me like this, man? Why does it do me like this? I should just take the time. I should just take the time and calc, right? But how am I supposed to know? Well. What are you gonna do? Thank you guys for watching. I'll be back. Another episode. I'm gonna be in the same attire, so don't miss out. Three episodes in a row. I'll see y'all in a bit. Peace.